It's one of the biggest political events in Kentucky this year. Fancy Farm will return to its full glory after COVID-19 put politicians on the sidelines for a few years. Evening Edition's Ricky Sayer is in Graves County with a look at who is expected to show up to take the podium. Take a look, they are already barbecuing meat here at Fancy Farm, but that's not the only thing heating up. Republican gubernatorial candidates are expected to take some verbal jabs at each other when they take the stage tomorrow just over there. Up to this point, the candidates have largely been on a united front, all trying to get Governor Andy Bashir out of office. The fact is, only one can face him in the general election in 2023. So far, only Savannah Maddox has thrown punches at other candidates. That's expected to expand. The nature of Fancy Farm allows them to be funny and really make fun of each other. Some major names won't make it this year, though. Governor Bashir was originally supposed to miss this for an Israel trip. That was canceled. He said he wants to focus on the flooding in eastern Kentucky. The U.S. Senate is holding a rare weekend session, so we're also not expecting Senators Mitch McConnell and Rand Paul to be here. Very few big-name Democrats will be on hand, but Senate candidate Charles Booker and committee chair Coleman Elridge are expected to come. All of the Republican gubernatorial candidates will be here as well, including A.G. Daniel Cameron, who had an ask for his Twitter followers recently. Uh, we are about a week out from Fancy Farm, uh, and I'd love your help. I'm trying to make sure we've got enough joke material uh, and so I encourage you to submit any jokes or one-liners that you have. Uh, and if we pick your joke or one-liner, we'll give you a signed T-shirt. Cameron's request has not gone over well with some on Twitter. They've attacked the timing of his video, which came out yesterday, the same day the Justice Department announced it was charging four Louisville officers for the death of Breonna Taylor. The speeches will start at 2. They'll start serving the barbecue in the morning. It looks good, doesn't it? In Fancy Farm, Ricky Sayer, LEX 18 News.